So someone's got a question there. What's your thoughts on working for free as an apprentice electrician to get more experience from other employers? In brackets, he's put, no one is really taking people on. I've made countless videos about this. At some point in your life, you're going to have to work for free or basically next to nothing. I've done it before. Maybe not worked for free, but I've worked for next to nothing. When I was an apprentice, I was working for like just under £5 per hour doing seven and a half hour days. 37, call it £40 a day. Even with my YouTube team, for years, man has grinded and grafted making these videos for free for years. This is the sacrifice that you've got to make if you want to get paid, yeah? So my advice to you is, yeah, work for free. I've had other people ask me that before and I've told them the exact same thing. You've got to work for free. There was one video I made, I remember I was sitting in my kitchen and I was saying that if you're struggling to get work and that you need to start calling employers and say to them, listen, yo, I'm willing to do two days. Let's say you're a college you, you're doing three days a week, yeah? Phone up a man, contact someone who's got a company, say, listen, are you able to give me some work experience? I'll work for free for two days. You've got to do it. It'll be worth it in the long run, trust me. You remember them times, yeah? When you're on your big 250s, 350s a day and you get me a living life, driving that Mercedes, trust me, you remember when you was working for free, when you was working for next to nothing. Done it before. Obviously, £100 a day doesn't sound that bad, but I remember leaving my sister's yard in South London, getting on the train to try and, well, and try and attempt to get back to central London so I can go to North London. I remember having to get the train into Kent, which is going further in south, well, south of England, and then from Kent to central London, from central London to Edmonton, getting home at three in the morning, having to wake up at six in the morning to then go back to like Waterloo Station, go meet some guy to, to work for £100 for the day. Man's eating a banana and a Red Bull for breakfast. Now, man's on a 360s, £400 a day. It just depends on how many jobs I do and what I do on those jobs and that. So it's got to be done, man. you got to make that sacrifice. Life is about making sacrifice and life is about reaping the rewards for making those sacrifices and that. So nothing's going to come easy. Unfortunately, you might have to work for free. Someone else might not have to, but you know what? Hey, it's about give and take. It's about push and pull, isn't it? Yeah, it swings and roundabouts, as that man there say. So do it. Work for free for a couple of days a week until a man sees, you know what? This person's willing. Imagine, yeah, the energy and the aura you're giving off, the vibe you're giving off. You're willing to work for free. You're sacrificing your time. You're not getting paid, you know. You're willing to work for free. A man will respect that. Unfortunately, this is not back in the day where apparently you could just turn up to a construction site and say, listen, I'll, I'm willing to work for free. There's bare men right now who are like 50s and 60 years old. They will tell you, certain men you will meet, they will tell you, yeah, listen, the, the way I got um, into the trade and construction industry and in that I just turned up to a construction site and said, listen, I'm willing to work for free. Now, obviously, with all the legislation and health and safety, that that is not happening. Trust me, to even get on the construction site, you need to go through security. They got security gates and shit like that. Man, have to put their fingerprint in. You have to get a guest pass and that. They even want you to do a toolbox talk and then a site induction just to go onto the construction site. Not as a tradesperson, you know, just to get onto the construction site, just to walk about and even do a little inspection. Man, you see like, potentially they could be like, um, studying that you need to do engineering or architect and that. I never spoke to them, but, there's certain times when man will be on a construction site and you see a couple girls, a couple men, their hard hats are too big, the high visits are too long and that. You can see that they're not construction people, they're like uni kids and that, but they'll turn up to a construction site and I don't know what, they've, what field they're studying and that. But yeah, even they had to do a site induction just to get onto the construction site. You've got the principal contractor who might be someone like Multiplex or Mace, they walk around the whole construction site, like, construction site, please, put your glasses on, put your gloves on, wear your hard hat and that, like, it's, it's the construction tick is, is a next level now, and it, like, they're even making people, like, I remember I used to have to get a ladder permit to use a ladder, you know, I need a permit to use a ladder, come on, they don't want no one using no ladders and that, and if you do, you need a special reason why, because too much man are sitting on top of the ladders and fucking about and they're not falling off and hurting themselves and that. But yeah, man, at some point in your life, you got to work for free. Even if it's not 
um, in terms of employment, let's say it's building up a business, let's say it's building up a social media following, you got to work for free. When I started writing my book, I weren't getting paid for that book. I had to put in work for free. I didn't know if anyone was going to buy the book. Obviously, I'm assuming people would, but I don't know if people was going to buy it. I had to make that sacrifice. My YouTube thing. Man was making video, been making videos almost five years now. I probably started at the end of November of 2028. So basically almost five years making these videos. I don't know if I'm going to get paid for it or not. That's the sacrifice I made. And now obviously I'm starting to get paid for it. Obviously TikTok things just going up, booming and that. Man's getting paid from the Patreon. Get me, I'm getting like paid from the ads and that. Um, and super chats and that so man, so eventually get me five years later I got there in it but this is the sacrifice you gotta make man you gotta be willing to work for free that's it and if you're not working for free you're gonna be working for peanuts you're gonna be working for so little money that when you are getting the big money you're gonna think how the hell did I even turn up to work for that imagine yeah like <laughs> I can never imagine going into work right now to work for £40 per day. Jesus Christ. I wouldn't even be able to pay my bills. I mean, to be fair, I, I live so frugally in that. I probably could pay my bills if I was earning £40 a day. But yeah. Yeah, madness, madness, madness. But get me. Um, it's just nice to know, say, that you put in the hard work and then you're getting paid for it later on in life. Isn't it? But yeah, man, work for free, man. Do it. Do it, do it. You won't regret it, trust me.